Well, I guess it's a good way to start off the latest completionist episode is actually just going and getting a level. So camping out. Oh, we got a new PR of 12 seconds. And I am just AFKing some Arch Glacor, uh, mainly because I got it as a Slayer task. And I figure what other better way to do the Slayer task than to camp and get... Uh, some charms and you know some get some troves some manuscript pages I think it's pretty good uh, make a little bit of money and then eventually I can you know if I just collect these elder troves I can just do one big opening for you guys I don't know how well this is going to record I am currently rendering a video that will be going up shortly uh, so the timeline's a little off but there is one 16 farming this is the big level. Uh, this is the minimum I need to do the golden dragon fruit. I'm actually not too far off having 200 mil banked. Um, I think by the time double XP comes around, I will have easily 200 mil farming banked, uh, which will let me also move on to doing other things because um, I also want to get 200 mil invention banked and, and some other things. So we've got a lot of pre-planning and prepping to do but uh yeah so there is 116 and we did not get anything good from the Saren. so this should be the last one i believe right now i'm short one and i think the last one is over here which is to the east how do i it didn't show up earlier I, it's supposed to be in this building here but it wasn't showing up for me Okay, now now it wants to pop up. That should be the last one for Bandos' Memories is now done. Super easy, fast achievement. Uh, the rest of them, not too bad. I think I'm going to go work on uh, Bones to Peaches now, and we'll kind of go from there. Well, from our daily keys and everything that we got uh, from just the daily reset, we ended up getting 111 Slayer pushed over. Uh, I did get some achievements done, and holy, I had a lot of papers saved up I did not know about. Okay, so maybe we're going to get something here. I did finish up uh, Mage Training Arena today. So that is, in my opinion, pretty huge. Uh, so I've got to go and collect that. I'll show that. Uh, and I'm pretty close to finishing up a couple other things that I need for a comp. So I think I got quite a bit done today. Uh, quite happy about the progress that I have made. Here we are. Let us go and get Bones to Peaches. Boom. Spell Bones to Peaches is unlocked. That knocks out one more thing on our list to get done. Next, uh, I think we're going to do Absolute Planker. And now, if I'm not mistaken here, when I go and do this final upgrade this should be the achievement done um, I believe that's all I need to do and I get the achievement yes absolute planker is now done we have abyssal shortcut which I believe is I'll take a look but I think that's just gated by a quest I'll have to take a look it's the asylum gate which is under Sentiston if I remember because I had looked at something like that um, I think it's just quest related uh, Myrkey and Memoriam, I think that's probably Quest of Valley of Sounds like the a vampire name, so I'm guessing that's Quest related. Master Skiller, we are just waiting on two skills. What's mine is also Dorix, and List of Mini Quest, Quest Cape, all three of those will be knocked out uh, pretty much as I finish the Quest Cape and do all of that. Uh, hopefully Music Maestro will also be done at the same time, so that'll knock out four. Crocodile Hunter, I'll just have to grind individually. Lunar Master, same thing, grind individually. And then these two should be able. So I don't have many grinds left besides really the Crocodile Hunter. And of course, the Quest Cape, but I, I'm not counting that as a grind in this instance. And here we go. Should be the end of Heart of Stone, which is very nice. Uh, I do need to talk with her to... Um, get Zinnia and Kibble, I believe. 
There are two achievements. Can Kenny be repaired? Let's see. So I'm going to have to go through it, uh, figure out how I get the pet. But yes, you do get a pet. And there's pretty much just two achievements from it. So I've, I'm going to do that to make sure I get both of those done. Uh, we'll go ahead and toss these into, I guess, prayer. And this is a combat one. And this is a magic one. Odd. I'm not getting the achievements finished for them. I'm not sure as to why. There are two achievements, and I'm sure one of them is going to be a Master Quest Cape deal. Let's see. It looks like I'm getting some more chat options. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I'm going to go through all the chat options and just try to get these knocked out. And there is the foreshadowing mini quest done. Still have plenty to go through, but this is just one of the mini that I'm going to be going through as I do once upon a time in Gilinor. Here we are at the end of flashback. So that is now done and completed. It's nice to get this all kind of knocked out, but I am going to call it for the night. I'll be back to go through and get the rest of this quest done I am about halfway done and then I will decide on another one or a mini quest to go through we are slowly getting through everything I had this episode will be a lot of questing uh, and just getting the achievements as close to completely done as possible fortunes is completed one more it looks like and we are done with this quest there is the finale done. I actually didn't mean to click off it there. That's interesting. And Once Upon a Time in Gilinor is done as well. That is four quest points, which puts us at 422. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be four quest points. So, hey, that's uh, it's neat. And we can see over here, you know, I could go and do... I don't know if I'm going to. Nomad's Elegy. Ooh, Earn Enhancer, though, is just very... The Earn Enhancer would be really, really nice to get. Um, the one I'm really wanting to get towards, and I guess I have quest ahead of it, is... Is it Tales of the God Wars? Why? Okay, so it's just a mini quest I need to do, but it will give me the heart teleport, which is something I definitely need. Um, that would be a very nice <laughs> 40 monsters uh, aligned to Zamrock and Krill, as well as 20 of each type of Grot Worm. I mean, that's not difficult at all. So I think we might go and do that. And there we have the Zeros Perfectionist, which is fully completing all of the reputation within the Zeros area. I think, uh, so you need 20,000 to unlock a title. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, uh, what is this? Requires maximum rep in all of them. Okay, cool. I'm going to do the mini quest here, but also I'm going to turn in these animal crystals that I've kind of just built up that I forgot about because uh, I need to get rep in all of the God Wars Dungeon 2 areas. Well, here we are at the end of this little mini quest, and boom, that is done. Tales of the God Wars, that is very nice to have done. Mainly for clue scrolls and the uh, heart teleport, which is like uh, honestly the biggest thing I was looking forward to on it. Um, in doing it, I did have to kill Krill. So I actually killed uh, Krill for uh, the remaining 25 or so. Yeah, it was 26 kills I had left. Let's try this out. I haven't. This would be great. Um, but yeah, so I killed the last 26 I needed for the 100 hard mode kills. So I did the last 26 hard mode, and then that is now completely done for Krill. I'd never truly have to go back there unless I just want to now, uh, which is nice to have done. I'm going to turn in this reputation, 
Uh, I think we're going to go and just finish off Zamrak next and try to finish all the others. Well, we have seven Triskelion keys. Let's see if we get lucky with, uh, I think you can get the Dragon Pickaxe, and that's like the only thing really worth much besides more Clue Scrolls, which I will gladly take. Um, We are getting decent. Uh, I don't really need the Clue ones anymore. I'll take them, don't get me wrong. Because I do have to go for 200 mil. So getting them is better than not. But uh, nope. Not lucky, but hey. Seven more elites that we can add to our collection to do. Because I am actually going to uh, take a break. I unlocked a few music tracks. So we have 50 left to unlock. Uh, we have pretty good amount of... We have 27 quest points. We've got some mini quests to do. Um, you know, we have that among other things, so there is still a lot we need to do, but I am going to balance it out so I don't just burn out, uh, overly quickly. Alright, let's see if we get anything. Dragon Rider Boots! Hey, that's actually really good to have. Uh, I don't, I wonder, does that count towards my KBD kill log? I know if I got it from killing KBD, it would. It does! Okay, that's actually great, because that just means now I've got the pet, ornament kits, and a visage. Uh, so that's actually, I'm, I'm really happy to see it works like that. And on the alt account, I don't get anything either. Uh, it's okay. Um, I didn't necessarily think it would, but it was worth a shot. Well, there is the achievement for collecting or earning a million beans. So, Bean Counter 4 is done. You know, this reminds me of Rock Lobsters back in the day, uh, where people would pretty much just AFK. <laughs> so, uh, this is fun. Pretty much, uh, this is going to be... I, I need a perk out. I can't add a perk to my Crypt Bloom. So, eventually I'll do that, but... Right now, I'm pretty much just going to AFK the rest of this Slayer task. Uh, should be relatively straightforward. Uh, I've got 70 left to go. Pretty much just make sure my buffs don't drop and uh, shouldn't run into any issues. Now, I don't have my Inquisitor staff perked out. I might do that next. Uh, but I really also wanted to have the recording up for 100 defense because, hey, that's a level. Um, I might go and camp the Nodons in the near future. I probably actually would do that for 120 mage because at the same time I can get a lot of bones that are quite expensive that will help pay for uh, 120 prayer and eventually you know 200 mil prayer so uh, probably not a bad idea to go about it that way maybe I completely forgot to mention I was actually camping out uh, doing some bossing and I I ended up actually getting the KBD pet. Yep. I ended up getting it. At, I was just getting some Slayer tests on. I had the Black Dragon. Now, I haven't unlocked it. It is in my bank. So, that makes it where KBD, I only need three more things. And I'm done with that log. And, I, you know, I've still got it uh, banked. Um, I should probably keep an elder overload self because i'm gonna finish this task i should be able to finish it there is a next event we've got going on here in an hour so uh gonna do that maybe i get a drop i don't like i enjoy doing the event but at the same time it's like i don't think i'll get a drop so i don't know if it's necessarily worth the time um i'm not sure because i could do like clue scrolls um, I could do one of the few quests I have left. Uh, there's a number of things I could do, so I'm kind of perplexed. Uh, cool, I was actually just looking at the drops, and I got the Dragon Rider Helm, which is a collection log item. Uh, apparently it's 800k, so that's also kind of cool to get. So, first actual, like, rare drop. It's a 1 in 5,120 from Celestial Dragons, so that's neat, you know, cool, uh, it's pretty much just full AFKing right now, not too bad, 
Um, I do need to get the, you know, Dragon Rider kit uh, fully. I need to get Visage, Celestial Hand Wraps. I still need to get a lot from these. Um, and I know I'm not doing the optimal combat here. I should be doing ranged, truthfully, but I seem to be killing them just as fast, especially when I start getting these instant hits. Um, because I could, I think, have a lot better accuracy if I was just doing ranged, but I need to get my range set up on par with my other ones, and I'm not going to do that until I make some more money. So it's going to be a process before I end up upgrading uh, my range setup. Same with parking out and doing my uh, setup for magic. I don't really have the melee, or not uh, melee, but the weapons perked out. I'm going to also have to do that. Um, on the side of range as well and they are expensive it's going to cost me probably a couple bill so going to need to do something um, at what I'm going to do I don't know just yet I got the uh, diary of the gods the book for all of them I think that's uh, more valuable to me than verse <laughs> stealing, stealing all the drops and I got the bones I actually need that no, 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 but that's a collection log, so yeah. I, I definitely need that. Well, here is 20 mil XP and woodcutting uh, from the wilderness uh, bloodwood tree, so that's uh, cool to see. And as we can see here, Crocodile Hunter is completed. Amazing. So, only thing I have left is for a trim comp, which is this here. Not too much of an issue, I don't think, at least. Uh, but, yeah, pretty much going through, looking at the achievements that I need now. We are down to a few options. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Abyssal Shortcut, which is through the Abyssal Lords. I need to get the key that they drop. Uh, Lunar Master, that will take me about eight hours to get knocked out. Music Maestro, I can... Do I just need to go and do it? Same with Quest Cape, um, Master Skiller. The you know we're working on that right now. Uh, what's mine is Dorks. I've got a little list of mini quests. Those are all and uh, Myriki and Memorium is all quest related. So we're really just down to a couple things that aren't quest related, and we don't have many quests to do. So since it is coming into the weekend. We're going to go and do some questing. But before that, I am going to focus on one thing. I'm going to do these Harakin. I've actually been putting these off for a while. I need to do them with ranged in Mage so I can get the two capes. So then I can eventually get the best in slots uh, Zuck cape that combines all of the capes. Well, there's the first kill done. We're going to take the Takar Kal Zil. Except, yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, cool. So that's done. Uh, daily reset's about to occur. So, got that. We can now bank it, but we're going to go get set up for daily reset real quick. And then we can kind of go from there. Does feel nice, though, to have the cape. Eventually, we'll need to go and do all of them. Mage will be the next thing on our list here. But we're going to go ahead and grab our D&D load. I need to actually modify this while I can think of it now and do this here. And then I can go and overwrite it. There we go. That's going to be better. So yeah, we're going to go do our D uh, dailies and then go and get the mage version. And there is Borix task one done. Let's get the rest of them done now. And here is the end of Borix Task 2. We're going to slowly get all these done. And here is the ending of Borix Task 3. Decent XP. And oh, that was the achievement for the comp that's all? Wait. That's it? You're kidding. Oh, I thought there was like seven of these. Three? That's that okay, that's not that shouldn't even be a comp. 
requirement. That that took ten minutes. Here we are at the end of Brink of Extinction. Uh, nice quest to have done. I don't necessarily know how much I'll use some of the benefits, such as like the fight cauldron. I I don't necessarily think I have anything I would need to use those for. But we also get a title. Uh, we get some combat XP, some mining XP, which is nice. Uh, you can find the Wandering Cow, but uh, this mainly is needed to be done because I need to do the mini quest that uh, is unlocked or the ability to at least do it after this quest is done. Uh, so not too bad. And, uh, you know, I don't mind these quests. They're relatively easy. Uh, at least I think they are, at least. But then again, I do have overpowered gear. So these boss fights really aren't that much of a challenge. But this is actually quite a long cutscene. But their voice acting on it is just so interesting. Because they have, like, a metallic ring to it. But, hey, there we go, and we can actually go to May now. So let's go and do that real quick. I'm curious, if we go over here to Verrock, what we will get. Go here and reclaim. Magical Dice Tier 5. Good luck, boys. Good luck, girls, everybody. We shall make some money. Five mil, six, uh, six and a half mil, roughly. The five mil is nice. And this is from a master clue, which is about 1.3 mil. So, hey, uh, cool. We will gladly take that. And some XP, is that a level? Oh, no. 20 mil XP and magic. Okay, cool. I actually didn't know I'd be getting that, but it's another thing to add to it. Apparently, the mini quest is as simple as using the ring of visibility on a ring of stone. He pops up and you talk to him. That's it. If all of the mini quests are this easy or this fast, uh, these would be done extremely quickly. But now I can uh, read the mysterious bookcase in the fight cauldron. That mini quest is done and I will decide. Well, I can't do all of those. Let's so unshow the locked ones. Uh, which ones I might do Lord of Imperium next. Uh, I know Dimension of Disaster is about like an hour and a half long. That one's pretty long, uh, so I don't know. I might hold off on that one for now. I've got to say the animations on this quest are insane. I mean, Vanescula just came up, stabbed him through the chest, and ripped his wings off. Like, What? Oh, any special attacks like right off the rip? What in the world? Okay, this is a uh, fun. All right, we are about to finish up Lord of Vampirium. One thing I just learned is one of the mini quests, and I believe it's also uh, the comp wreck, is time gated. Meaning, after this quest, I can start the mini quest. But I have to wait a minimum of 10 days to be able to finish it because you have to build essentially 10 statues. And each statue, you're only allowed to build one per day. So at a minimum, I've got to wait 10 days to be able to finish it. So that's kind of uh, a downside, which means I won't be able to finish... I couldn't technically even get comp cape until at least after Christmas, uh, towards the end of this month, which is fine. Uh, there's, I mean, not a problem there. That's still pretty fast compared to maybe what I was thinking. Uh, okay. Is this hinting at the next quest in the series? Maybe, but there it is. Yeah. So I'm guessing that was hinting at river of blood. But uh, yeah, cool. Two new titles, some things. Uh, the Sun Spear, which is pretty cool. I think I can augment it as far as I know and get some decent XP. So I can put this XP into Slayer 
Slayer. Uh, I can continue putting it in Slayer. Sweet. Cool. That is now done. And we can do River Blood. And go through that since I'm kind of already here. Yeah, I think we might. Uh, well, I think I'll have time. Our clan's doing a big uh, like Christmas drop party. And I do not want to miss that by any means so that's going to be one thing that i have to consider is if it does take a little too long i'll have to just stop and resume the quest but we are going to talk to valief right here and start this mini quest and at least get it started and then i will um come back so this is not a hard mini quest it's just simply time gated so we'll have to come back and kind of go through it as time progresses. Nothing too crazy, but uh, maybe we can do River of Blood and get... I'm hoping I can at least get uh, both of those done. Uh, River of Blood and the Drop Party. Oh, some Drygores. Yeah. And from all of the daily stuff... We get 112 Slayer. Sweet. Good to have. Going to do some rituals this afternoon uh, with a friend. And then we'll probably go and do some Pyramid Plunder. I need to get the uh, Scepter. Get that for Clue Scrolls. So those are going to be some things I'll be knocking out on top of doing a quest every now and then. Oh, boys. There we go. The necromancy pet. I don't know where it went. I think it went to the bank. But, uh... I'm just AFKing here trying to get this dinosaur piece because that's the only thing I need for the Slayer. And I have max resources. So I need to get it. And as you can see, I've been here for over 400 kills. And I still don't have it. So we're just chilling. Killing these venomous, uh, we're about at half the drop rate now, and we got the necromancy pet, which I was wondering when I would get that. Uh, I've been, I felt like I've been killing it for so long, but you know, in reality, I guess it's, I don't know. Um, pets are weird, uh, but 54 million XP, not too bad at all. I'm trying to just get this last thing finished. Oh, yes, 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 finally, and where did I start taking all that damage from? Whatever. How many dinosaurs did we kill to get this one item? 1,700 to get the tooth. That is all that we needed, and barring a few things, we made... 41 mil pretty much so I mean not bad I think it was like 8 mil on average per hour so you know not bad <clears throat> at all really I can't complain about it but I could have been doing like Raziel or something that makes quite a bit more money but I should be able now to yes we can so that is now done, and we got Master Builder done. Whew. I didn't know that was a broadcast. Oh, that's so cool. I actually didn't know that. Okay. That's so sick. Uh, I love that. But, yeah, that is now done. We are going to now be able to work towards, I think, finishing the um, farming area. And kind of go from there. Okay, this current promotion is actually just insane. Uh, like, actually ridiculous. The amount of XP, the fact that it looks like you are pretty much guaranteed to get green presents, which means a lot of Aurora dies and things like that are going to flood the market. Like, I... <laughs> I, I I will get 
levels off this because it's like um there was one a while back where it's like you fill up this bar and you can get extra tickets or better drops and things like that and i got the eight more treasure hunter keys on top of it and so then i continue to roll and it's like this will be a stupid xp per hour like just ridiculous there we have 117 farming knocked out <clears throat> well there is i got one slayer task done but i also got and this is new to me lanieka has a special i guess event i i don't i guess that's what it is but you have to kill one of each of these um like mushroom things on the island and then you get like 45 slayer points which is a ton and a good chunk of xp so i'm gonna go do these real quick and move on to the next task because uh, we need a thousand slayer points and that will give us the next boost to upgrade the slayer helmet okay so i got 102 mining at the infernal star event which is pretty cool all right so i just bought a noxious longbow and augmented it i needed a better ranged weapon than what i had so got that now uh, bought two mass cap ability codexes for the corruption shot and corruption blast so i needed to unlock both of those i think are worth getting and then i bought because it's only four mil the greater sonic wave ability which will help for future mage training and kind of getting set up because i've got the money sitting around and i'm not using it right now um, i'd at least rather use it than to not right now how in the world does Zanuck keep coming back to life? Zanuck has been killed so many times in the storylines, but just keeps coming back to life, man. Like, what in the world? Earlier, I forgot that we were actually in the afterlife. So, do I want to bring Zanuck back? Hmm... Xanax should stay dead. Bye bye. Goodbye, my friends. Let us end this quest. Nomad's elegy, elegy, I don't know, is completed. That feels great. And we are now at 428 quest points. We are so close. Uh, okay. Uh, there's 132 invention didn't know I was that close but okay uh, I was just getting the soul in a box wait I can make an XP capacitor oh I can make four of them well wow. okay I was looking mainly actually for the soul in a box which I can make and the earn enhancers which are soul runes I can't make many of them I can make 10 I can make a cup. I can make a few earn enhancers, and they take soul runes. Uh, I that person is everywhere. Everywhere I'm going, I see them. So we're gonna grab some of these here, and let's manufacture some of these skilling support earn enhancers. Let's make some of these real quick. Uh, these will be much, 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 much useful uh, in the future. But I, well, hold up. I I need to look into if I just need one or if I need multiple. And there we have a collection log item for the mud battle staff. Uh, we have a you know slayer task right now. Gonna go through it and hey, hopefully we get some collection log items. We do need the kill count here anyways to eventually uh, get to the threshold because I need three pets from each one of the Dagonoth kings, along with the ring from each and every one of them. So I've gotten the Berserker Ring and the Mud Battle Staff. I still need the Circle, the Hatchet, uh, the remaining rings, and then the pets. So um, hopefully, you know, I get spooned and we get it knocked out early. If not, then maybe I will get enough of the other rings to make the upgraded ones. You know, I've got the Reaver's Ring. But if I can get the, you know, the Archer's Ring variants, etc., that would be nice to get. Uh, if you are curious, I am running 
two pieces of the crystal armor because I know it's hybrid. I, I'm sure there's better hybrid armor, higher than a tier 70, but I just kind of grabbed whatever the first thing that came to mind. Um, so grab your best like hybrid armor, and if you have, you know, me personally, I'm running three pieces of crit bloom for the set effect. Uh, it just reduces a little bit of damage, and then also um, I can cast the animate dead because it does go off of the magic tank armor that I'm wearing so I can kind of reduce some damage here and it's relatively AFK um, running a penance powder which for the most part keeps prayer up I've been here for you know 20 minutes and you can see I've only taken one dose of a superstore uh, no Sarah brew and I've gotten about 58 kills so far pretty AFK um, now there is a method with AFKing using poison, apparently, uh, with either melee or necromancy. I haven't tried that. I can't really speak upon it uh, to know the effectiveness of it. But this is, you know, you gotta at least pay attention enough for each kill, and then just swapping your weapon, uh, preferably go two-handed instead of uh, dual wielding. So as soon as I get the kill here, I can just swap over to the Inquisitor's Staff and just AFK. Or I can manually input if I want to try to get some faster kill times. Uh, they don't track your kill times, but in terms of your kill per hour, uh, you can manually input for faster kills if you'd like to. So just one thing to factor in if you are going to do UDKs or you need to do the log, uh, this is how I'm going to go in about it. Uh, now, right now, out of the entire setup, I'd say the most suboptimal thing, besides, of course, my uh, hybrid armor probably not being the best in slot, would be the um, weapon I'm using. It's the Superior uh, Vesta Spear, which is a tier 88, but there are better options out there. Uh, you know, I could go Lanieka's Spear, which is a tier 82, but it has tier 90 damage and tier 75 accuracy so that is an option I could go with um, there's other options I've got that's just one of the ones that came to mind um, I could go with the masterwork spear the trimmed one uh, which would I think be the best in slot here if I'm not mistaken especially if I perk it out correctly but you know none of these weapons I'm running right now are perked out either so not too bad um, all things considered pretty much just going to sit here for all 200 uh, kills for the slayer task i'm sure it's decent slayer xp as well um i you know it says i'm making two mil an hour pretty much from bones but it's also factoring the hides and everything hopefully we get a pet we shall see hey there we go the archer's ring that is a fantastic thing to see as I was talking about it and those are eight and a half mil so yeah I mean I would need at least 10 of those which as I hate to say it I hope I don't have to get 10 of like I hope I don't finish off the ring upgrade uh, before I get the pets because these are a 1 in 128 drop rate I believe is the precise Hopefully not, but uh, hey, we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. I am going to... Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I like that outfit, actually. That's really cool. I am going to use the Enchantment of Dread on the Nightmare Gauntlet. That was, I think, probably the best. It's like 80 mil, and it is the best upgrade that I can do. I think on the ranged gloves so what it will do is it gives a 25% accuracy and allows movement when using snipe charging the following effects are uh, after being equipped for nine seconds the snipe fires an additional shot dealing 50% reduced damage against targets not facing you okay so let's go ahead and unlock our upgrade here yes we will wear these now we've got the, I think, best in slot gloves for ranged, because we're going to go kill some legions. <clears throat> okay, so that's good to see. We're doing Reaper task, and we got the second dragonkin. 
so that's something we definitely needed from this boss go ahead and destroy this but that is uh, a necessary log collection and there we have the third book for the journal and go ahead and bank the rest of this go ahead and read this and then we can destroy this knocking out some of the collection log items I mean it's the QBD with Necro uh, it's very very fast um, pretty much summon and alt let me take a look here I've got one more journal and then it is just getting the drops and the pets so not too bad I mean we can even go through a kill here pretty much do that you can face tank these waves for the most part uh, I gotta make sure to actually keep my prayer up because I'm not banking I'm just going again and then you can dive surge whatever you want you just have to activate these artifacts I tend to if I'm actually paying enough attention uh, I can you can pretty much ignore those you're not supposed to uh, but you can and if your minions did what they were supposed to there you could activate the artifact that'll start it um, you can go in mash some abilities and activate this last artifact and kills done I mean that's that's really all QBD is nowadays <laughs> it's it's not that difficult it's kind of brain like you, you really don't have to think about it much and so you know if I get these tasks it's not bad it's kind of free points for Reaper um, I can't really complain about it but hey I'm just gonna finish these up and hopefully maybe I get another job <sighs> are you kidding me <laughs> no <laughs> no I got a decimation oh, that's so frustrating like sure I take it I don't want it I don't need it it's a rare roll give me core please like core would be so nice to get I don't even know if this sells I mean cool it's 10 mil like don't get me wrong like that's nice and all but still man talk about a view what a beautiful sunset there we have pieces of hate completed bunch of XP a bunch of things unlocked access to this book uh, black pearls ton of things but as you might have seen go over here to uh, elves and this clan this friends chat has got to be if you do dailies and you do anything these they've got to be one of the like I understand but they like to kick so frequently almost like a ridiculous amount and it is extremely annoying Okay, there we have Roke Call done, which is a good achievement. Uh, it is a Master Quest Cape achievement, and I am getting it done. Okay, so just got my first Soul Devourer's task. Um, from what I understand, I can do the Magister, I can do Salawa Ak, I can do quite a few things. So I'm going to go try out the Magister. Okay, so uh, <laughs> 20 Vital Sparks seven mil that's a definite nice drop to get and I've gotten a pretty much a book every single kill yeah I've now discovered and read all five of the journals and this is oh my gosh so AFK so you feel luckier to, uh, he drops cool uh, yeah I like this boss so far Super easy, super AFK, and uh, it looks like it's a solid money maker showing 70 mil an hour right now. But I know that's dependent on drops. There we go. The first Phil Lactory, I guess is how you pronounce it. It is the first of my collection log at 25 kills. Um, we are getting some progress now. I don't think. Can I open up? Yes, it looks like I can. So let's go and take a look at the Magister real quick. So he doesn't have many drops. We've got all the books. 
we've got this. So now it's just gloves of passage and the pet that we need. Fastest kill is 30 seconds. So I might just, I think I'm going to do the all the Slayer task with this. I mean, it's super chill. Um, whether or not I make money, we'll see. I spent 65-ish. I think I spent, I ended up being like 50-ish mil on keys. So maybe I get all that back with, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping we do, but there is no guarantee. Uh, we will just bank these, though, for now. So we are... Sorry, my voice is a little messed up there. What in the world? So I'm just going through right now. Ave King, the Crux Equal Knight. Uh, I've been doing that while at work. I will probably get 120 over the Christmas weekend. Uh, at least more than likely. And I want to say this because the downside is I'm going to probably achieve a lot when I'm with my family that I can't record. I'm not going to be able to record it, uh, at least not feasibly. So I'll probably get 120 thieving. Uh, I might stop at 119. Uh, but if I'm AFKing, I, it, you, you know how that goes. It might just I might pop across it and not even realize it. I'm hopefully going to get the pet for thieving. I hope... But I don't know. Um, dependent upon you know how much time I'm down there, I might finish off the mini quest uh, for what I need, or I might do the lunar spells. I don't know yet. If anything, it'll probably be mini quest and some quest. Um, so I'll probably get a few achievements done that otherwise would be recorded. So there might be a jump in just everything that I accomplish because I won't be able to record it. Uh, so that goes with levels. I don't know how many levels I'll get in Slayer or in Farming. Anything like that, I'm not sure how far I'll go. Uh, but we shall see when I get back to the recorder. I will still be, around the, be able to record for the next couple of days after that point. It'll be I'm home, and I will be playing mainly on mobile or my laptop, uh, primarily mobile. So how much I get to do and or record is still undecided, and I don't know yet. But uh, hopefully, you know, regardless, I get a lot done, even though I wish I could get clips for it all. So I'll be honest, I don't know if I remember mentioning it or not. Uh, I while training uh, yesterday got the thieving pet while doing crux equal nights so we've got the thieving pet we have gotten to level 1 uh, 14 thieving which is solid progress uh, hopefully going to close in on getting 120 slayer pretty quickly um, we do have I don't know 8 10 mil XP or something to go um, but shouldn't be too bad overall. These nodons aren't too bad, not with Necro at least. I know you can do it with magic, but I'm pretty sure this is faster. And you take less damage for about the same amount of work. So pretty happy with that. And I can just kind of sit here and use area loot. And hopefully uh, make some money off it. But not too bad. Um, now I don't have any aggression potions that might have been like the only thing that would have been worth picking up in this whole ordeal now that I'm looking at it um, we'll see we'll see but we're almost done with this task and then we will go on to the next one well there we have a armadillo helmet drop I've uh, just been AFK a little bit since Technically, today is like the last day I'll be able to do anything uh, that I can record. And I'm pretty tired, so I figure I'm just going to take it easy, uh, relax, just AFK. I'm looking at doing some main things on my alt account, trying to get that account kind of built up. Um, not sure really what 99s I want to go for next, but just working on that. Um, and trying to just get the pet here, finish the log, and uh, finish all the God Wars dungeon logs that way I can kind of move on from it 
Ooh, well, that was my uh, first ever drop from a minion. I was wondering when that would ever happen, and it uh, finally did. Not a bad drop, though. I mean, not a bad drop whatsoever. Really actually happy with that. Uh, it's like, what's five, seven mil something? It's decent money. Yeah, five mil. We'll take it. It'll go to our uh, collection log. And with these openings, I should be able to get a farming level. In the latest update uh, for this week, Jagex actually decided to increase the... Uh, am I going to be short a little bit here? I might actually. Yeah, I'm going to be short. Okay. So Jagex increased the rates at which you earn wrapping paper now. So uh, I'm actually earning four times the wrapping paper currently. So I should be able to earn... Uh, somewhere around, I think, 20,000 wrapping paper per day. Uh, which is insane, first off. Uh, I mean, that's I'm going to be getting a ton of presents. A, a ton of presents. So I'm going to be opening those. Those are going to give me a, a lot of levels. That's pretty much, the I think, going to be a big method in terms of just getting... Um, initial levels and kind of going from there is just I'm gonna chunk it into Slayer and farming I need to get those 120 um, necromancy will probably just have to either AFK or we'll do rituals one of the two um, which one I decide to do I don't know but that is kind of the route I'm looking at going right now okay so my schedule's been all over the place and I mean, all over the place. It's I, I don't know what's going on half the time. It feels like, regardless, we've got some cool things going to pop off here. I am going to finalize getting these skills 120. Got them all really close. I think I'll be able to do the medium lamps. I think this is going to put it like really close. Okay. So each lamp now is going to give me 120. So, we're going to start with Thieving. We're going to do Slayer. And then we're going to do Farming. And we have three 120s. We are spamming up everything else. So, that feels <laughs> really good to be done with. Uh, I don't know what to put anything else in. Uh, those are like the big skills. So... We have three that we've kind of saved up. Now we can go and buy the capes. Uh, I cannot wait to get the mining one. I think it looks so good. But let's go and buy the thieving cape. Yeah, it's only 120k. And I did have my pin put in. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, which, what else did we get? We got the, or was it? Farming. That will look really nice. And then we got uh, Slayer, which is a beautiful cape. That one I am really looking forward to. So, farming. Beautiful cape. Be absolutely gorgeous cape. Now I got my pet boulder in the way, but... Oh, it's got the dinosaur? No. I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's actually a fantastic emote. The thieving cape with the black particles. Very nice. Um, it doesn't look like it has any other benefits, but it looks like the Farming Master Cape's additional bonus. Ooh. Okay, so the Farming Cape's additional bonus, besides harvesting everything, is all patches automatically have super compost applied to them, and once a day you can increase the health of your animals and happiness by 20%. <gasps> That's actually really nice, and oh my gosh, the red... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I don't have a red hat, but I could technically do, like, this here. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Or maybe, like, a brown. No, brown's kind of ugly. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I actually have no idea what the uh, moat... Oh, okay, so you got a gargoyle. You got... Uh, okay, okay, okay. You got... Um, the dodge. Okay. Wow, that's actually really cool. And so besides the chance for the next task 
Okay, provides a chance to select your next task. Sweet. So now I can change. I've got to go through and do all of my new <laughs> presets. We'll have to be updated to match the 120 capes because I'm going to be getting rid of the 99s. All right, here we are with a level we are uh, going to get. Or, well, should. And there we go, 108 rune crafting. I actually don't mind doing soul rune crafting all that much. Um, you know, the way I'm doing it, it's probably not the most efficient. There's probably a couple things I could redo about my setup to be a little bit more efficient because right now this is kind of how I'm going about it. And then I'm doing the final run through the wilderness. So I'm kind of, you know, T-Pink here, then going to Edgeville, re-getting my setup. And then I'm going through and charging everything. So then I'm kind of charging it and uh, going through right there. And we're getting, I don't know, like half a mil XP an hour uh, in those areas. Now, the frustrating thing is I don't know if I should charge it. I don't know if it stores the charge. So, like, should I do it at the last inventory there? That way, I don't know how long the Demonic Skull buff and the Abyss translate over i need to do some more research in that because i don't want to miss out on the magical threads or anything else and the xp buff that's one thing i should check into just make sure i'm doing that correctly uh beyond that but i'll probably just keep doing i want to get the pet really is a big thing <laughs> um hopefully as soon as possible like, that's really what I'm looking forward to is getting the pet for runecrafting. And then I can do protein essence and be, like, guilt-free. My thing is I don't want to use proteins on a skill and get it, you know, 120, 200 mil and not have the pet. And then I have to go and grind a pet where I'm not getting XP for it. Uh, I'd rather do the inverse, like, try to get the pet. And once I get the pet, I can do whatever... Uh, lamp it, protein, whatever the case is, to get to the 120 or 200 mil, whatever it is, and I don't feel bad about it because I've at that point I've kind of gotten everything that I need to, and the only other stuff I would need to do would be like, uh, for instance, if we go here into the achievements, because in the souls are so AFK, I absolutely love the fact that it does have some AFK time in it, but if we go to rune crafting, wherever that is at. I've got to go through and make all of these runes. Uh, not too big of a deal. Siphon all the nodes. That's fine because I need to do the Master Phoenix anyway. So I guess I'll do these two at the same time. Uh, hand rune dust in at the rune I guess I'll do all three of those at the same time. Uh, 110 and 120 will also be another one as well. Um, I don't know what these other ones are. I'll have to look them up and just see. But that's kind of what my game plan is. I'm going to sit here and do some rune crafting for a little while. Uh, before I do anything else or if I just get bored I might go and do some more rituals until I get uh, a little tired of doing rituals and then I'll do rune crafting and just kind of fluctuate between the two um, at this point in time I can go and get the completion escape the only thing preventing me from getting the completion escape is simply grinding out the 50 hour grind or longer uh, 50 plus hour grind of necromancy to 120 and then the quest which uh, definitely, those are faster. Uh, Questscape, that's going to be faster. The Abyssal Shortcut, I can go and get. Uh, hopefully, I don't get unlucky with RNG because that is a RNG drop I've got to get. But it shouldn't be too bad. That should be fast. Uh, oh, man, I completely forgot. Lunar Master, that's going to be a little bit of a trip. I don't, I'm still mixed on if I, do I want to grind out the Lunar Farm and do it that way or do I just want to go and get it through traveling merchant and in that case then I've got time to do whatever and if I do it through the traveling merchant then I don't have to grind out rituals necessarily um, I could actually go about it a little differently and if I do it if I go traveling merchant I can do quest very slowly I could even do just like one a week because of how long uh, the time differences between them all I've got a few options. I, I, I'll have to think about it. Because if I go Traveling Merchant, I can begin slowly working on the Master Max Cape a, a little bit more efficiently. I can also, at the same time, um, begin working on like the Trimmed Completionist Achievements 
in the same fashion as I wait for that to be done. So I've got a couple ways I go about it. Mm, not exactly sure. I no, I, sh I take that back. I know probably the most efficient route to go is simply to grind it out, be done with it, and move on to the next thing, and that way it is done, and the series is over, and I move on to the next one. But in terms of like my enjoyment of the game, uh, burnout, etc., I think it. I'll see, but I think it might be more efficient um, for me mentally, long term, to just say, "Hey, I'm going to go about this uh, in a slower fashion and still work towards other things." I, I'm thinking that's what I might do. I, I'll have to decide. Um, I know I'm rambling a bit, but just kind of. Uh, still thinking through everything and how the best way I want to go about it. And there is a collection log item. That means we only have one more left for the giant mole, and we are done. I did get a Reaper task, so this is for the Dragon Fire Shield, or I guess the Anti Dragon Shield. And there is an achievement actually uh, with the KBD to use, I guess, like the Giant Mole Shield or something like that. So cool, I got it. I don't have to go and try to buy it. Uh, we don't have a ton of kills, but we're just going to do hard mode until we get Molly. Uh, I think the threshold's like 500. So anytime we're going to be doing Giant Mole, we'll just do hard mode. And that'll make it pretty easy because half the time, I'm honestly just not even sitting with prayer. On I'm just kind of going and attacking it and having to run over to it. I don't know if there's a better method to handle it like going through this. Uh which is fine, but I think the fastest kill I've gotten is about a minute. I think that's pretty good if you ask me. I mean, a one minute kill on a boss that moves around this much, it's quite annoying, but it's not a hard boss. Uh, it's very chill for the most part because you can pretty much phase it in one or two abilities, and then you're just chasing it down to the next one. I'm, I think I could probably set up a cannon in some of these like further ones and it might be able to phase it by the time I get there. I'm not sure. Um, I, I think you know you, you can poison it, so I guess you could like poison it in cannon and kind of go about it that way. I'm not sure. But hopefully we get the pet pretty quickly. Uh, we don't have to spend a ton of time here at the giant mole because that just wouldn't be fun. You know, that wouldn't be fun at all. Nobody likes to. <laughs> I don't, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't enjoy the giant mole myself. Though I don't know when exactly I'll be cutting off this video. We shall see. It's been a long it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Alright, let's do this. Wait, I don't have enough, do I? Oh yeah, I do. So for seven hundred K tokens, I've now unlocked the chest inside of the Elite Dungeons. Wait. Oh, 20% double loot chance on bosses. Oh, okay. I guess eventually I should. If I'm going to be going for like true trim, I'm going to have to get all this. Uh, going to have to buy everything in here. So the scrim shots. Damon Hine skill door boost. Okay. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to do some elite dungeons for a little bit. Uh, I haven't done these in a while. So I kind of want to see how it feels with tier 95 now. Because beforehand I was doing this in tier 90. So I'm curious of how well this feels. <laughs> so I got a pair of Celestial Hand Wraps, which is cool because that's actually a log um, item that I needed anyways. So, you know, hey, we'll take it. I can't complain about getting log items in a ED2 run. And there is a new PR uh, and 112. That's really <laughs> I got distracted by the fact that my PR was an improvement of a minute and 23 seconds, and I still messed up that kill pretty bad since I this was the first kill I've done in a long time. But uh, not too bad. I don't think I really need a bank. I think I can honestly just uh, teleport and uh, keep pushing through. And there's the achievement for defeating all the hands within 10 seconds. Uh, pretty much just wore them all down. And proceeded to finish them all off. Uh, I definitely need to pay attention here, though, uh, and not die to this phase. There is 109 rune crafting, and here we come on the level for fletching 103. 
pretty much I am going to make some of these ascension bolts and then turn them into ascendry bolts mainly because of the ALK value so these are worth 10.2k ALK uh, they sell a lot less than ALK but I can get some great flexion XP and with you know each set that I'm making uh, I should be able to pretty much make profit in the long run because if I'm making I think it's what 10 at a time um, I will be about 93k is what it'll run me right now 93k you know that doesn't make sense but you flip it over to ALK it's 102k so there's about a we'll just say like 9k difference there but because I am doing this with the Brute of the Gods on a portable Fletcher um, with the Fletching Cape and every... I might be missing one boost. Um, I might be missing a boost. I'm not sure. But doing this, you can see here with the Tier 3 that the Fletcher saves me resources. The Brute pops and it's uh, empowering the effect. So I get better effects from the portable itself. Then I get the, you know, fletch materials from the workroom. Then occasionally, like here, the cape will proc, and uh, I get an extra bundle of, like, ascendry bolts. So I should be able to make a good amount of money per hour. Like, right now, it's saying I'm making 10 mil an hour, but I don't know how adjusted this is. Because I was doing uh, Zilliana. I did a few hundred kills of Zilliana, and the only thing that I got in every one of those kills is a Sarah Sword. Uh, but we're slowly working on log whenever I uh, get like the opportunity for it or if I get time to do it. Uh, I've been lacking a bit on Reaper tasks. But I'd say we're making some pretty good progress. Uh, this is still going to be close to about a mil per hour on XP. And I've got a lot to do fletching wise. I've got a ton of fletching XP banked right now. I'm not sure how much. I really haven't calculated it hopefully enough to get us to like that 110 112 area you know preferably i would hope we have more but i don't think we do um, so kind of working on that and taking advantage of the event that's going on uh, so all of this wrapping paper especially in the last uh like week or two i'm getting four times the wrapping paper which means i'm getting you know ten thousand or more wrapping paper a day which is letting me pop those for a lot of bonus XP, so XP stars, and also lamps. Um, so the stars I'm putting into skills that are like buyables right now. Um, so that's, you know, prayer, that's construction, that's smithing, that's crafting, that's fletching, things like that I'm putting it into and trying to get those banked a bit higher. Uh, the lamps I'm kind of just putting into rune crafting right now. Uh, I could... I don't know if I want to put it into something else because technically I think the best way to go about it is to put it into your slower skills that take longer. So mining, woodcutting, fishing, for example, um, hunter, any of those you would probably want to actually preferably do. But for me, I'm wanting to prioritize these uh, buyables first and then I can prioritize uh, others in the future. But that is really, it's been a crazy past on um, pretty much just past two weeks for that matter to where I'm going to the updates around as much and I've probably missed a few clips um, and I can't tell you the exact level I've gotten like I got uh, 110 rune crafting but I'm not you know I don't have a clip of it um, but it's end of the year I've got a bunch of videos I am working on the big thing I want to do, because uh, I see a bunch of people do it, and I think it's always cool, and I remember watching it back years and years ago, and I've always enjoyed it, are uh, bank videos. So I think I'm going to work on and do a bank video sometime in the next couple of days. Um, I'm, I did an alt account update uh, where I got 99 mining. I didn't really like how the video felt, so I'm going to delete it um, and reshoot a new one. I've accomplished a lot, I think, on that account. Uh, money's running a bit low, relatively, but uh, skill-wise and like XP-wise, I think it's doing pretty good for the amount of time I've dedicated to it, considering I've done primarily just things that I can AFK for the most part. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now. 
just kind of alternating between ascension bolts and the cindery bolts you know the cinderies are a bit more afk i think it's about a minute of afk every time i start a batch or a set whereas the ascension bolts are like 20 seconds of afk so a little bit of difference there either way i need them because the cindery bolts will give me alcables that i can put into my invention machines which means i don't have to go and buy them uh, so I can slowly convert this into various different forms of money making. But if this uh, GP per hour tracker is right and I'm making anywhere from 10 to 20 mil an hour, uh, I will continue doing this slowly as my, you know, bank persists. Uh, because I spent, I think, 400 mil in just the bolts alone. I think that's where it came out to. Like if we were to switch this over... Yeah, that's 400 mil in bolts uh, that I've dropped down into. But we will have, um, you know, say somewhere around 55,000 ascendry bolts, which will give me about 550 mil, depending on how many of these uh, procs. I might even get more than that. I Maybe I'm closer to 60K, which will be 600 mil and some change that I will get uh, from this passively. It will take a little while to go through, you know, probably a couple months, but it will be money that will passively flow in and I can still get some fletching XP in the meantime. So doing this, um, you know, a bit over time can be good. I think it can pay off decently well in terms of just passive XP. You know, crafting, I need to do dragon stones, which you can alk and actually make money doing. Apparently, apparently, I had a friend telling me about it. Like that's how he plans to go and get his 120 crafting. It's pretty much he will cut a bunch of dragon stones, uh, put them in the alker, alker, and uh, pretty much do that and just kind of build it up. That way, he always has something to put into his invention machines. They're not just idling, and at the same time, he is able to slowly work on some of those skills. So I think I'm just gonna sit here and do this for a little while. We will probably, I think we have enough to get 107 or so fletching. Um, and whether or not I alternate to something else, I don't know. But I do think a bank update will be interesting because, you know, I've got, you know, the feathers. I've got 150,000 rune uh, bolts to make. I've got 220,000 broad arrowheads to go through and work through my archaeology tab it has been building up pretty nicely um, I've got about a hundred and four roughly of each of these because I have some that are restored of the maces and the chieftain crowns so about a hundred and we'll just say two hundred and four of these I've got 14 collections which actually now that I mention it I have to go and send out another mission I have finished the achievements for the missions and at this point I am actually sending out a mission as much as I can because I think it is per XP, uh, for XP and time commitment, this is a good way to more passively do a uh, Tetra Compass. So I get 264k XP. Um, you know, this one was really good. They're not always this good, but you know, 6.7 mil in just GP value of resources here. Now, most of these I won't use anymore. You know, I've been building up and I've spent a lot of money on the ones that I think, uh, well, not that I think, but the ones that I need to restore the Tetra Compass uh, collection. So that's kind of how I'm going about it. I am buying Chronotes. So I will buy them in, uh, you know, I'll buy my limit. I'll typically put in about 100K buy offer. Uh, and that'll be, you know, essentially six hours or whatever it is, four hours of time. And let that sit. But you can see, like, I've already bought... Uh, you know, 23k, 13k. I need to up that more. Got 17k. If we were to, you know, withdraw this, I think we're sitting probably pretty decently well. Um, it'll be easier, I think, to just do this. You know, that's 1.2. Holy, that's actually insane to think about that there's 1.2 bill there. So we can go ahead and take these out. I mean, we have 700 mil. Now, most of some of this, I you know, bought with my own GP, so it's not like it's been just necessarily earned. You know, like these, it's 100 mil there, uh, 100 mil in these, which I bought. But, you know, that's, I probably have a bill in just resources sitting there that I've either uh, farmed myself, I've accumulated, 
where I've gotten through sending out these missions um, essentially twice a day. It's very close to twice a day, uh, though like if I am, if I miss something or I'm slow to it and then I don't get it off, but we can say about twice a day. Uh, so it's about half a mil archaeology XP per day, two tetra compass pieces, which means we are, as I've said in previous clips uh, in I think a past video, it'll be a good way to farm tetra compass, especially after I get 200 mil. I think I will probably just do that, farm those uh, just passively, you know, go and check and make it part of my daily routine, even if it's just one a day, uh, that's at least one Tetra Compass a week, which means I can at least get, you know, I can build up a collection and over a year I can have, you know, 50, 60 Tetra Compass that I can do and have some clips and some videos to shoot for you guys and hopefully hey, we get lucky and we get the uh, Tony's Matic. That would be really cool, but if not, it is some something fun to do, and it's good for other means, uh, the binding contracts, clue scrolls, etc., etc. But I've realized now that I've rambled on for 11 minutes of this clip, and all I've been doing is fletching. I mean, 11 minutes nowadays is a full video for a lot of people. I could have just done an update video on this, but this will just be a clip, and this video will be very long, as I think you can tell. There we have 105 fishing. Pretty uh, nice just doing this as I will need to go through and you apparently unlock, I guess, memories from these people as you supply them with things. Uh, so as I am getting things in the Anachronia, the resources, I can come here and get some fishing, some crafting, um, like fletching, I think herb lore and something else. So just doing this that way, I kind of knock out some later achievements and also get some XP uh, in places that I need it. Okay, so we are going to see what we get. 140k, that is atrocious. <laughs> uh, let's see what the next one gives us. Hopefully something better. All right, let's see what we get on the second opening and even worse. 100k. So at least, I, you know, I'm gonna hope that just, you know, even though it probably doesn't, contributes to future better openings on clue scrolls i know it doesn't but i'm going to be optimistic and just hope that it does all right so just finished perking out my augmented crystal tinderbox for whenever i do the eventual fire making ride for tinker 4 p6r2 didn't do too bad uh tinker 4 got first try is like 60 percent chance and then it took me what 12 tries to get it, I got like P6R1, P5, P6, P5, so not terrible. Uh, definitely could have been better, but uh, we'll take it. Okay, I'm going to do my best to not sound awful and not cough into the microphone, but I feel disgusting and sick. Um, so I don't <coughs> know what all is going to uh, be happening in the next like short while. It's just been rough. Um, I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what the case is. I just feel pretty rough. Um, don't really know what else to say about it beyond I just don't feel good, really. Um, I hate it. You know, I, I went to work. It was pretty rough, actually. Um, went to work today and, of course, got a flat tire. And then the jack for my car also broke when I was trying to swap the tire out for a spare on the side of the road so then I had to wait an hour <laughs> for roadside assistance and then get my tire patched and taken care of it's been a awfully long day and I should have just taken the offer of simply going and staying home and I might actually take that and do that tomorrow because I if I continue feeling this way I am not going out into the world I will lay in bed um, which means I may not get content. Um, we'll have to see. <sighs> you know, in that last clip, the, the whole thing I meant to do that entire time was to simply point out and I got distracted, but I got the Bubbles Pet uh, today, which is pretty nice. Um, I got it while I was going through my islands. I am slowly uh, working on getting all my islands completed. Um, I guess I shouldn't say islands, but the arc and getting everything done on the arc and that's kind of uh what i've been working on for the most part 
And in doing that, I did get a pet. I'm hoping I can get the woodcutting and the mining pet at the same time because it would be really nice um, to get those knocked out. And I need the XP anyways. Um, I did get a fishing level, I believe it was. Um, I don't fully recall. It's been a it's been a day to say the least. And do we get thread here? No, but we do finish up some achievements, which is nice. And we'll begin uh, charging this up. I think it's full. Yes. But uh, yeah, so right now I've got all my challenges just set to rune crafting, and that way I can boost the XP I'm getting per day uh, by quite a substantial amount. Because in doing so, okay, I can still deposit some. In doing so, this will uh, exponentially speed up how quickly I can get to 120 um, room crafting. Hey. Holy shit, let's go. And, and that was a new uh, PR too, you know? 15 second improvement. I forgot I was this close to the level, but there was 103 mining. Just doing my daily resource collection here. I will probably end up wrapping the video here, realizing how long it is, and hopefully in the next video or two, depending on uh, how everything goes, I end up getting the comp cape. So we've got five quests. We've got a lot to do, kind of, but also not really. Uh, so, you know, Master Skiller, I can AFK Abyssal Beast. That's what it's going to do. It's going to take about 30 hours. Questscape, five quest uh, music. Most of that will be done. I think that'll be relatively quick. The lunar spells. Uh, I'm at 317,000 produce points, so I've got a little bit of ways to go, but not crazy. Uh, Abyssal shortcut. Just gotta go kill Abyssal lords. It's a rare drop. Uh, mini quest, and then just this Myrick and Memorial, uh, which is a mini quest. So overall, that's all we've got to do. So I'm gonna cut the video here because this is getting pretty lengthy and then we will resume on to the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you later.